G'day guys, just another update from Clean at the Lab. So we've, um, we've sorted some new tyres thanks to the boys at Top Town and Nixon Tyres New Zealand. So we were going, this time we're going for 275, 35, 18s. So these are the SUR4Gs. SUR4G. So these are slightly grippier than the SUR4s that we were running. So here's the size there. And the reason why we've done this, we needed to run four tyres the same size all round. We figured that out with, um, with our drive line vibration we were having. There was a slight discrepancy in size between tyres. It's actually, it looks like it might be closer with a 235 and a 275 than what it was with a 235 and a 265. So, um, yeah, originally we had 265s on the back, 235s on the front. 0.4 of a percent difference in diameter or something like that. So the front axle was trying to turn slightly slower than the back. Didn't like that much, so it was binding up and letting go and binding up and letting go. If you repeat that quickly, you get a, a vibration. So that's what we had. So you can see the difference in width. These are going to be awesome. Um, these are the widest tyre we can get in a semi-slick from Nixon. So they're going to be grouse. It's going to make the car really, really sticky. So over here we've got the old tyres. These are the um, SUR4s. Not the G's. These are just two six five thirty fives. So um, they might be up for spares or for sale or whatever. So we got two good ones and two that I flat spotted earlier on. Horrendously destroyed them. Um, got to get these on. Get everything on the trailer and head up to Automania tomorrow. And um, the boys sorted out while I was there getting those fitted. We got a wheel alignment done on the old Ute on the D forty V eight Ute. And we also put some new, brand spanking new, uh, Nixon, what are, I think they're N8000s, I believe, which are uh, awesome tyre. The ones that were on there, we got 35,000 Ks out of those, and um, this runs quite a bit of negative camber on the front, and um, I don't drive it slowly, so it gets a bit of a hard time. So to get 35,000 out of it, and it was mainly shoulder wear, there was probably another 10,000 left in the middle. Um, it's just we wore the shoulders off, so they weren't legal anymore. We're all sorted there. So, yeah, I'm going to bolt those onto that. I'm going to have a look at what I can do just quickly to um, keep our tyres inside the, the guards here. Some Motorsport New Zealand rules. So these are 235s on the 9 inch wheel at the moment. We're going 275s on the 10. So they will be wider. They probably will protrude from the flare just a little bit. And I'll have to, um, the quickest way is just put a little lip all the way around the outside of the flare. That would make it legal. Uh, I'll work on something a little bit nice in that. The car's nice and clean. Got it clean yesterday. We've got rid of our vibration as you would have. Um, seen if you follow us on Facebook at the Lab Limited. There's also a video on there which I'll leave on Facebook, I won't be posting on YouTube, of um, some donuts on the skid pan. Uh, external footage only, sorry. Our little girl turned our GoPro on and filled up the memory card and then came back and turned it off. I had no idea. So we had our, there's the mount there, had our GoPro all set up for internal in car footage of some donuts and um it didn't record because the memory card was full so that was a bit of a bummer we'll get that sorted out later on we'll, we'll do some proper proper in car footage of some donuts etc so if you're in um if you're in auckland and you're going to automania tomorrow we will see you there um otherwise stay tuned for another update so if you like and subscribe and share and all that sort of carry on helps us out, helps all our sponsors out, um, helps us get awesome deals from our sponsors, so all good guys, alright, see you around.